My name's Dave Soldier. I'm a musician. I'm also a scientist, and we actually happen to be um, in an office uh, in my laboratory at Columbia Medical School. But what I'll be speaking to you about today is sort of a, a, a meeting of science and music and conservation uh, with uh, the Thai Elephant Orchestra. That's an orchestra of elephants in northern Thailand. It's at a place called the Thai Elephant Conservation Center. And uh, it was uh, begun uh, in uh, the year 2000. And uh, still exists, although it's uh, much smaller than it was in its heyday, which was about 10 years ago or so. Um, the idea came from the fact that elephants used to be working animals for thousands of years in Southeast Asia. Uh, and there used to be 100,000 elephants in Thailand around the years of uh, 1900. Uh, most of those elephants were actually employed in the way that we employ horses or cattle. Um, and uh, there were still, uh, there were several thousand uh, wild elephants. At th by the uh, er uh, period of around 2000, there were only about 6,000 elephants left in the entire country. So decreased from about 100,000 to 6,000. Uh, why is this happening? Several different reasons all converging. Uh, one of them is uh, human population. Another one is deforestation. Uh, elephants will eat 400 pounds a day. And uh, when they're in the forest, they need to uh, spend every night in a new place because the, uh, the trees have to regrow leaves and you know they'll denude the, the area. Um, and uh, also because uh, Thailand and much of Southeast Asia became paved. So elephants traditionally were used in war. Um, they uh, were, uh, after that, you know, they which is a terrible job. Um, after that they were used uh, for, log for the logging industry and they were used as trucks. Um, but after the roads were paved, they no longer were used to haul uh, goods or lumber from one place to another. And also there was a, uh, a, a loss of the logging indu industry because uh, Thailand in particular had lost almost all its lumber uh, to the building industry. So logging uh, had become and is still uh, essentially illegal in Thailand and all the wood from Southeast Asia has to come from other countries like Burma. Um, so suddenly there are many uh, thousands of unemployed elephants and uh, these are domesticated elephants. Domesticated elephants and wild elephants are exactly the same genetically unlike horses, cattle, sheep, dogs and cats. They've never been selectively bred by people so there are they are our major example of a domesticated animal that is also the same as a wild animal. Um, many of the elephants even recently were caught in the wild and then uh, trained to be domesticated. Uh, this is extremely rare now but until very recently it was still pretty common. Um, most of the domesticated elephants now are born from other domesticated elephants. Uh, they don't know how to live in the wild and if they did there's not enough space for them anymore in the countries in Southeast Asia. So uh, the uh, Thai forestry organization, which owned uh, perhaps about 60 of these elephants, needed to have a place uh, to put them and they opened up the Thai Elephant Conservation Center uh, near Lampang, between Lampang and Chiang Mai in northern Thailand. Uh, behind, uh, working with us was an American named Richard Lair who's lived in Thailand for about 40 years and has become the chief world expert on the Asian elephant. He wrote the book for the UN, which is called Going Astray, on uh, the uh, Asian elephant and its future and conservation, and also worked on the veterinary manuals and the training manuals. Uh, so uh, we're at this point where uh, there are many, many elephants out of work. They're begging in the streets. Uh, they have trainers called Mahouts uh, who are uh, uh, taking care of them, but again, it's 400 pounds a day. The veterinary bills are extreme and people really can't handle them. So uh, the Thai Elephant Conservation Center was the first of the conservation centers. It makes its money from donations from the government and also a lot from tourism. 
So the idea is, what are the elephants going to do now, these domesticated elephants? So they developed uh, some shows. They tried to make the, them very humane shows, the shows that were in, el uh, in, in circuses, having elephants stand on two legs and dance and so on were not very uh, thoughtful. They aren't na natural elephant uh, behaviors. So they try to do the best they can for natural elephant behaviors and to keep the species going because the numbers are getting to be so small that um, there is a possibility that in several generations the elephants will be too inbred. And even if there is space for them and veterinary care for them, that there still could be a loss of the species down the road. So a lot of things we have to worry about. Um, elephants are very social. They also like music. Uh, they like to listen to music. Uh, when this was first told to me, it was hard for me to believe, but when I went to Thailand for the first time and worked with the elephants in 2000, uh, you could see that this is true. Uh, the Mahouts sing to them when they bring them in from the forest every day. They'll come and listen to when people are playing music. And uh, we said, well, let's uh, see if one of the things we could do for the show uh, partly for tourism, but partly to give the elephants something nice to do instead of uh, um, doing show-offy things that they don't really enjoy doing and something social. Let's build giant musical instruments and see if, see if they'll play them. So we built now uh, 22 enormous instruments. Uh, they are in Thailand. They're in very, now they're in various states of disrepair, unfortunately, but uh, you can see videos of as many f as 14 elephants improvising in an orchestra. And uh, this has been very successful, even more successful possibly, uh, at least in terms of tourism, has uh, been that the elephants have learned to paint and the paintings are very popular in Thailand. They'll cost you about $10 if you go to the uh, conservation center. Uh, you can buy them at uh, uh, ga fancy galleries in New York for thousands of dollars. And I suppose you could probably start a business by going to Thailand, buying elephant paintings and reselling them. Uh, so uh, a lot of interest in that. Uh, the uh, abstract paintings are kind of honest. There are also figurative paintings that are uh, sort of tricks. Uh, the Mahouts uh, tell them what to paint. Uh, but whatever it is, it's, uh, it's a, uh, something that the elephants enjoy, and they very much enjoy uh, playing music. So uh, at the Conservation Center, there's a little bit of music every day, even now. And uh, perhaps most importantly, so this was the first conservation center. Now there are many. Uh, most of them are private. Some of them are very well run. And now you can uh, go to Southeast Asia. You can spend time with elephants. You can learn uh, a bit of elephant training from the experts. The elephant training also has gotten much better, partly through uh, the efforts of Richard Lair and several uh, of his collaborators who come from long traditions of elephant training. Uh, there is, again, thousands of years in experience in knowing how to train elephants well and humanely. Much of that was getting lost in the last generation or two as the economy changed. Uh, they have codified it. They've made a elephant training school that people can go to for a few years and become expert at uh, training elephants well and humanely. There are still about 3,000 uh, elephants left in the wild in Thailand. It's mostly in one park. Um, and it's something, it is something to worry about, and that's true with all of Southeast Asia. We're going to, in the, in the near future, uh, have to make people much more aware of this and uh, plan uh, very effectively for the uh, survival of the species. But in the meantime, uh, one good introduction to understanding elephants, of course, is to visit places like the Conservation Center, maybe spend two or three days learning about elephants and being with them. Uh, you will be amazed because they are much, much, much smarter than any other animal that you're used to working with or being around, uh, much more than ho horses or cows or dogs or cats. You will not believe it until you spend some time with them, and then you will. Um, and you can in enjoy uh, uh, trying to understand as much of their natural behavior as you can. And of course, as humans, uh, for good or ill, we are the boss right now and we have to take care of the other species and we have to plan very well for them. This species is in trouble. It could run out in a relatively short number of human generations and we have to plan right now. So uh, have fun. Take a look at the Thai Elephant Conservation Center videos and uh, the Thai Elephant Orchestra and uh, you can read uh, Going Astray, uh, the book from the UN, and there's plenty more 
uh, uh, that you can learn about the Asian elephant.